pressure from the opposition and pressure also mounting on the government to talk tough uh, from the army on the 65th army day parade the army chief sent out yet another tough message today general bikram singh saying the indian army has adhered to human rights and that uh, india is prepared to face all challenges सेना प्रमुख का कार्यभार संभालते वक्त मैंने सेना के लिए एक दूरगामी दृष्टि सोची थी जिसके मुद्दे थे सेना की ऑपरेशनल क्षमता को बढ़ाना और ये यकीन करना कि हमारी सेना देश का एक सक्षम और उत्तरदायी हिस्सा बनी रहे इस दूरगामी दृष्टि को लागू करने के लिए हमने कुछ महत्वपूर्ण विषयों पर जोर दिया है जिन पर हम सब ने मिलकर गौर करना है हमारे राष्ट्र की सीमाएं विश्व की कठिन और दुर्गम क्षेत्र में आती हैं जिसमें शामिल हैं सियाचिन ग्लेशियर लद्दाख और उत्तर पूर्व के दूरदराज इलाके हमारे सैनिक इन आग्रिम इलाकों में युद्ध के सिद्धांतों और मानव अधिकारों का सम्मान करते हुए अपने कार्य को बखूबी से निभा रहे हैं हमारी सेना राष्ट्र की सीमाओं की सुरक्षा और शत्रु के इरादों को विफल करने के लिए सदैव तैयार है ऑपरेशनली डिप्लॉयड होने के साथ साथ हमारी सेना का आपदा प्रबंधन में तत्काल कार्रवाई की और नागरिकों को राहत और मदद प्रदान करने में भी अपना फर्ज बखूबी से निभाया है चाहे यह जरूरत भूकंप आने के कारण थी आधुनिक शास्त्रों को प्राप्त करने की कार्रवाई जारी है आर्मी एविएशन की क्षमता को भी बढ़ाया जा रहा है जिसमें अटैक हेलीकॉप्टर्स भी शामिल होंगे इन्फेंट्री को एफ इंसा से सुसाजित करने के लिए भी हमारी कोशिश जारी है इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ भी हम कदम से कदम मिलाकर चल रहे हैं हमारी इन कार्रवाइयों में भारत सरकार और रक्षा मंत्रालय से हमें पूरा सहयोग मिल रहा है भारतीय सेना देश के मूल सिद्धांतों के प्रति समर्पित है Shinjo Chaudhary our national affairs editor joining us on this uh, story Shinjo the army chief did he make it clear to Pakistan that their violation will be met with the same response from the indian side and that Pakistan can't go on beheading indian soldiers Yes the army chief was very strong yesterday he made it very clear uh, yesterday that uh, if there was uh, a problem from the pakistani side it would be met uh, it would be uh, they he would meet any challenge and the army was ready to do so he made that very clear uh, he said very very clearly that uh, this was the position of the indian army and he had uh, he had absolutely no doubt uh, that his officers on the line of control uh, were aggressive and were ready to be on the offensive these are the points he made uh, as far as any challenge was concerned he said that his officers were ready to meet it with aggression and of course uh, with uh, on an offensive note and that point again today he struck in a different uh, way he said the army was deployed and it was well prepared and the other point he made uh, was that the, this army does not believe in human rights violations perhaps it is a reference uh to what the pakistani uh, side has done with hemraj or uh, other similar other activities that happened in 2011 and even before that so two points really were made by general bikram singh today one that the army was uh, prepared and deployed and the other that it was not involved in human rights uh, violations and it would not do that kind of thing Right now, Shinjo, that second point you speak of, General Bikram Singh's comments today during the Army Day Parade, again a message that was loud and clear to Pakistan on the human rights issue and the fact that Pakistan has violated human rights in this particular case. 
Yes, that's exactly the point. Uh, you have to, you have to fight in a certain way. There are certain practices in the military. You can't go around uh, beheading uh, soldiers. You can't go around mutilating their bodies, even if they are dead. The point is, this is not an isolated example. That again is a point that was made by General Bikram Singh yesterday. He made it very clear that this was not an isolated ex example. It has happened before. And he spoke of a time in 2011, about two years ago when it happened. And he spoke of another time uh, when it happened about 10 years ago. Uh, so this is the point he made. And it, he served a very clear warning to the Pakistani side that this army would react uh, to any provocation at a time and place of its choice. There can be no clearer message than that.